Hi, I'd like to take a few minutes to show you how to wash out a photo mask of a photo with our SR3000 film. Now we're using 3ml today and I have my image here. It's a little ballerina and what we did is we inverted it and then we printed it. So I'm working with the negative. So let's take our mask. I've already cut this to size. I have a shiny side and a matte side. The shiny side goes against my electrolyte blanket the matte side up. I'm going to take my ink side of my artwork and place that face down on the electrolyte blanket. So let's roll this up on the cylinder. I'm going to place it on our electrolyte unit. We're going to expose for just 20 seconds. That's it. No longer. A longer exposure means a longer washout. So 20 seconds will expose the photo perfectly. Take, let's take a look at the photo here. If you notice, the white area will actually be my dark area of the photo. So we want to make sure that I focus on the dark area first, then continue to wash the rest of the mask. So let's get started. I'm going to remove my exposed sheet. We're going to place this exposed sheet on the washout board, shiny side against the board. And I'm using a white metal board. This should have come in your kit. I'm going to take my hand sprayer, and this is a pressurized fan spray. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using warm to hot water, and I'm about one to two inches away from the mask. As soon as I see my image here, I'm going to start focusing on the dark area. Nice, even stroke. So just kind of working that dress, working that dark area, trying to open up those dots. All right, now let's continue. We're just going to start from the top of the photo to the bottom. Nice, even stroke. Okay, so now I kind of see my image, it looks white. So now I'm going to pull back just a little bit, about to about four to five inches, and we're going to finish washing. All right, that looks done. Let's take a look at this board here. Let me see the photo. So I have some of my dots opened up in the dress, and the background, all those dots are opened up. So let's remove it off the board and let's take a look at it in the light. So I'm going to hold this up on the light so you can actually see the light coming through those little dots. And I have all my dots in place and that looks really good, a nice clean washout. Okay, the mask is pressure sensitive, so you need to use pressure when you're applying it to your surface. So clean your surface apply the sticky side down and use a squeegee, put some muscle behind that burnisher and really secure it to the glass, then remove your clear carrier and then start sandblasting. You always want to make sure that you use your squeegee with a little muscle because it is pressure sensitive. It's not, there's not a heavy tack on the film. Now I do have a mask that we, I did a few minutes ago and I want you to see the difference. Now this mask is almost dry. You can see I have a little bit of moisture in her face and in her dress, but once it's completely dry, it's one solid color. And again, as it's drying, it has that tack to it. As you can see, I already have a tack to the, to the mask. Apply that tacky side to your clean surface, squeegee it down because the mask is pressure sensitive, and then you're ready to sandblast.